we thought that it would be good if people could meet and learn from each other. There's too many great people in our community. Uh, when I say community, I mean Britain, but I also mean the world. And we're just not getting to meet all those different people because we're all divided up into different groups. I'm in this group, I don't talk to that group. They're not my kind of people. I'm not their kind of people. They're too old, they're too young. So we thought, let's bring everybody together and then everybody can learn from everybody else. And that's what Limud has become. Limud is a community of learning where people from all different backgrounds are able to come together to celebrate and express their Judaism in different ways. We are united by um, a shared passion for learning in all different ways, be that text, be that um, creative, be that dancing or singing or performances or cooking. So there's many different ways to express your Judaism and Limud embraces them all. A year ago, if somebody had said to me I would be ending up co-chairing this year, I would have laughed at them. But one of the great things about the mood is that it does push you. It's pushed me in great directions this year. There's nothing else like it in the Jewish world, in this country, in Europe, or probably in America, apart from all the different international moods. It's a truly unique, unique event that's created by Jews for Jews. I think people keep coming back to Limud because it really does have an atmosphere of everybody volunteering, everyone giving a bit back but also getting a lot out of conference. There's sort of a motto of everyone's teacher and everyone's a learner as well. Um, so in that respect it very much feels like a community of people teaching and learning from each other together. And there is a huge culture of volunteerism at Limud conference. So we have hundreds of volunteers from people who are young adults who are giving four and a half, four to five hours a day of their time uh, to volunteers like those around us at the moment who are giving time to help the registration process over conference. We also have hundreds of presenters who are presenting sessions. People really give up their time to be part of this community. Badly about Jews in general, but to speak about Jewish supporters of Israel or to speak about Israel, that's become increasingly okay. Good thing. It's something that people can get on board with, that people know that they're not going into a space that is that is threatening or scary for them. And in interfaith context, interfaith context especially with Muslim groups, um, that's really important that you know that there's not going to be there's not going to be a problem and actually we're going to be building relationships and, and making something work. When I see people at Limwood learning together, texts that otherwise they might be anxious at looking at. I feel deep, deep joy and satisfaction because Jewish texts can be quite scary for people and here is a space where people feel safe or you see people singing together in a way that they wouldn't normally. So one of the things that I love doing at Limud is, is watching, is watching other people enjoying loving being Jewish. I enjoy people getting wound up and getting challenged on their views, hearing views that they don't normally hear in their bubble uh, of sameness. As Jews, we should challenge each other for two reasons. The first reason is, it's the Jewish thing to do. Talmud, the center of Judaism, is about challenging each other. It's about sitting in the same place, different scholars, the same place or over generations and challenging each other. And the other reason we need to challenge each other is it strengthens our views. This is probably my uh, seventh or eighth time at Limud. I've been coming for the past 15 years. It is a highlight of my year when I do get to come. Um, the food is not great. The coffee is generally worse, uh, but the atmosphere is priceless. It's a place where there's uh, Jewish learning, Jewish living, uh, exchange of ideas volunteerism. Um, it's really a sort of a, a, a communal Mashiach site, maybe. Limud makes me hungry for new things, um, in the sense that there's always a crazy new session or a great new presenter to um, find out about and to engage me in a different way. And it's just, it's just exciting, there's always something new. An organism, if it doesn't grow and change, it dies. 
and one of the real successes about MUD is that it has been so true to its core values while constantly changing and growing and bringing in new voices. And I think it's largely because of the volunteer ethos. There's always new volunteers coming in and the, um, the ethos at Limud is if you have a good idea, make it happen. And that adds to the diversity and the growth and the creativity, which funnily enough is what keeps Limud stable over time.